Hello, and welcome to the Study Smarter and Fairway screencast on how to polish your writing. Polishing a piece of writing means knowing how to effectively revise, make drafts, and edit. Whether you are working on an essay, a report, or a creative piece, you need to go through a certain process in order to get it to its final version. Knowing how to polish effectively will help you make your writing the best that it can be. Here are our three top tips for getting your writing to the finish line. First, be a writer. Second, be a reader. And third, be an editor. Let's start with being a writer. Being a writer is not only about picking up a pen. It requires thought, decision making and planning. If you do these things right from the start, you'll find your writing easier to revise as you go along. Different types of writing require different approaches. Think about what type of writing you will be doing and the kind of structure and language that it requires. Before you start, it's important to know the topic you are writing about, as well as who your audience is and what to include. Thinking about these general questions will help to kickstart the writing process and get your ideas flowing. If you've been given a specific task, you need to consider what the task is asking you to do. Here are some questions you could ask yourself. They will help you to get clear about what is expected and how you'll be assessed. Remember, it won't matter how polished your writing is if you haven't followed the instructions. The next step is to do a mind map or a brainstorm or whatever method works best for you. Write whatever comes to your mind and don't worry about being neat. The important thing is to get your ideas down. Once you've got all of your ideas on paper, you can decide what to include or not include. You can also decide what your most important points are and the order in which you will cover them. Making time to order your ideas is really important, even in an exam. The good news is that ordering your ideas will save you time in the long run, and it'll keep you on task, so your writing will have a better structure and be more effective. Think about the elements that need to be included, such as what you'll put in each section, and what order they will go in. Don't forget, if you try to fit too many ideas in any one section, your readers will get confused. Once your plan is complete, you're ready to start writing. Don't worry if you're not quite sure what to say. The important thing is to put pen to paper and give it a go. Remember, no one writes perfectly the first time around. Your first draft doesn't have to be a polished piece of writing, as you'll go back and edit it later. This is true even in an exam, where you'll make changes and corrections at the end. Our next top tip is to be a reader. Once you've completed your first draft, it's tempting to think that your work is finished. But really, you're only halfway there. Have a think about who your reader is and what they know. By putting yourself in their mindset, you'll find it easier to revise your drafts and get even closer to the final, polished version. The first thing to do is to read over your draft and ask yourself some questions. Did you follow the guidelines and do what you were asked? Is your structure effective, or could it be a bit clearer? Is there anything that you need to include, or anything that isn't explained properly? If you were reading it for the first time, would you understand all the points that are being made? To help you read through your work, you can use the CLEAR checklist. Good writing should always be cohesive, logical and expressed well. Essays and reports should be written in an analytical style and everything you say should be relevant to the main topic. Read through your draft and decide which of these areas you could improve on. Next, you need to make some changes. Make notes and highlight areas which need corrections or which don't sound quite right. If a sentence sounds awkward, think about how you could rephrase it. 
or simplify it to make it sound better. Don't worry about being messy and writing all over your work. This just means that you are being thorough. To get an idea of what redrafting looks like, have a look at some of these drafts by famous authors. Don't be afraid to move things around, cut things out, or change the order of sections to improve your structure. If you save a copy of each version of your draft, you won't need to worry about losing anything important. Drafting and redrafting is an ongoing process, and to polish your writing, you'll need to produce a few different drafts. Just remember, each one takes you closer and closer to the finished product. During the drafting process, you should take lots of breaks to help you see your work with fresh eyes. Get a second opinion. Keep asking questions. And don't be afraid to try different things until you find something that works. If you're not sure why drafting is so important, here's what Amberlyn Quaimelina has said about writing a Charlotte Wolf. By the time a Charlotte Wolf was finished, I'd rewritten the entire book, all 75,000 words, three times over. Some sections had been written five or six or seven times over, or more. There wasn't a single sentence in the final version that I hadn't thought about, studied, agonised over, and finally decided was good. The good news is that you probably won't need to rewrite everything you've written. When you've got your final draft, it's time to start thinking like an editor. Now you are so near the end, it helps to use a checklist to check all the different elements of your work. Pretend you're the marker, reading it for the first time. Is your writing easy to follow, engaging and logical? Is it clear? And are the links between ideas seamless? Does it answer the question? If it does all of these things, then all you have left to do is the final proofreading. At the proofreading stage, you need to pay attention to the grammar, spelling and the punctuation of your work. Don't just rely on your computer's spell check, as this can be easily fooled. Think of yourself as an editor who needs to check that a work is ready for publication. To help you get into the mindset of an editor, try reading your work out aloud. Everyone makes mistakes when they're writing and you'll pick these up more easily if you can hear them. Listen out for grammatical errors and overly complicated sentences. If you need to take more than one breath to get through a sentence, it's probably too long. You can also listen for phrases which are difficult to read and any cliches or colloquialisms which need to be taken out. The final step in polishing your work is to check that you've used the correct formatting. If you've been given guidelines, Make sure you follow these correctly. Make sure your work is set out nicely. And that your font, your titles, and your margins are consistent and easy to read. Once you've completed these steps, your work will be polished and ready to submit. We hope you've enjoyed this screencast. Remember, to polish your writing, you should be a writer. Be a reader and be an editor. Following these three top tips will help you to get your writing to a polished finish. Mm -hmm.